Okay, so in this problem, we're dealing with median, range, mean, and we're dealing with negative numbers. So let's see what we have here. It says the list below gives average temperatures in Celsius for Fairbanks, Alaska, for each month of the year from January through December. So that means that each of these temperatures is an average for a month, right? So I'm guessing that there'll be 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? One for each, each month. So first we want to find the median, which means middle number, right? The number that when we put these in order from least to greatest is in the middle. So first thing that I would do is order them from least to greatest. So the, the biggest negative number, in other words, the number that's the most negative is negative 25, different pen stroke here. And then we have negative 23. So as I, as I go through these, I'm going to cross these out. It's very easy to lose track. Negative 20, negative 16, negative 13, and then negative 4, and then negative 2. Now our positive numbers, 7, 9, 14, 7, 9, 14, cross them out, and then 15, 17. Okay, so, you know, I guess with median, if the numbers are 1, 2, 3, the median would be the middle number 2. But if we had an, an even amount of numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, the median, right, is the average of these two numbers, which is 2.5. So you add up those two numbers in the middle and divide. So how many numbers do we have here? Uh, we have 12. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm recounting to check that I didn't miss any. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have an even case. So there will be two middle numbers, and we're going to average those. Uh, the two numbers in the middle, right, I have 4 and then negative 4. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 number to the right, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, numbers to the left of that. So I'm going to pick 4 and negative 2. Because then I have 5 numbers on this side and 5 numbers on that side. These two numbers sit right in the middle. But they, they're not both the median. The median has halfway between them. And I think it's obvious to see that that, that means it's negative 3. Think about a number line. You have negative 4 here, negative 2 here, negative 2 there. Halfway in between is negative 3. But if we're not feeling confident, we can just add up negative 4 and negative 2. That's negative 6. And divide that by 2 to get negative 3. That's our median. So again, if, if you have an, e an odd amount of numbers, there will be a, a median sitting right in the middle. But with an even amount, two numbers in the middle, just add them up, divide by 2. Average those two numbers. Now the range, of course, is the highest value minus the lowest value. In other words, how far apart are the highest and lowest numbers? So we can do 7 minus negative 25. We're subtracting negative 25 from 17, but really adding 25. All right, and that's 17 plus 20 is 37, plus 5 is 42. That's our range. Okay, so to deal with the, the mean in a way that's not so frustrating, we're going to line all the negative numbers up in one column, right, and the positive numbers in the other, and we'll just see what cancels out. So in the negative column, we have negative 25, negative 23, negative 20, negative 16, negative 13, negative 4, and negative 2. In the positive column, we have 7, 9, 14, 15, oops, 15, and 17. I notice that 9 and 7 is 16, and we have negative 16 here. Now eventually, to find the mean, we're going to add all these up. Right? So eventually, I'm going to add negative 16 and positive 16, but that's 0. Right? Those are opposites. So those cancel out. And I don't want to do any other cancellations I can to, to provide, prevent myself from making any mistakes. I like playing around with these numbers. Uh, I don't see any, any other obvious connections, but I'm going to rewrite these three as, um, instead of 14, 15, 17, I'm going to pull the 10 out of each number. So think of 14 as 10 plus 4. Think of 15 as 10 plus 5, and 17 as 10 plus 7. That's 3 tens, that's 30, plus the 4, 5, and 7. I'm just rewriting these numbers in a different way. Same thing, different way. And now I can say, oh, this 30 will be added with this 20. And let's think of this negative 13 as negative 10 and negative 3. 
So what, what I'm doing here is saying that, oh, this 30 will cancel out when I add it with this negative 20 and that negative 10. They'll bounce out at zero. So those are gone. Okay, what else can I do? Well, what about um, the 3, negative 3, and the negative 4, and the 7? Well, that's the same thing. Negative 7, positive 7, they cancel out. What about this this 2? I want to cross this thir negative 13 out because I don't lose track of that. That's gone now. Negative 2 and 4. Well, the negative 2 plus 4 will just eventually give us a positive 2. And this 5 will cancel out with the 5 and negative 25. It'll give us negative 20. And notice now, all we have to do is add three numbers. Negative 20, negative 23, and positive 2. What's negative 20 and, and 23? That's negative 43. Plus 2 gives us negative 41. It pauses for a moment. Okay, so we have negative 41. I was just stopping there because I just didn't want to believe they gave us negative 41. Because remember, we're dividing by 12, right? We're finding the mean. I won't, and I wasn't sure that I was correct there. Sorry. So how do we deal with this? Well, an easy way to deal with it is to think, how many times does 12 go into negative 41 without going over it? It's negative 3 times, right? Because negative 3 times 12 is 36. Not another 12 will fit into it. However, think about what's left over. Well, if, if negative 3 times 12 is negative 36, that means there's still 5 left to go until we get to 41. So that's, you can think of that as 5 twelfths. So actually the mean here is negative 3 and 5 twelfths. Very unfriendly looking number, but we can still deal with it. Now next we're asked to plot. Um, and here, I think one of the best ways to plot it is to use a line graph with an x and y axis. And notice what I'm doing here is saying that here we have the, the months up and down on the y-axis we have the temperature and we can plot right so that we're going to number the months 1 through 12 for, for January through December so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 so where will January be? well this is um good actually I'm, I'm a little frustrated that I crossed these out because this is our information in order so I'm going to try to read it. Uh, in January, we had negative 25 for a temperature. So one fun way to plot that is to think, where is, here's 1. Now, where is negative 25 going to be? Let's use increments of 5. So negative 5, negative 10, negative 15, negative 20, and negative 25. So here, if here's January, here's 1. Here's negative 25. We can plot a point. And next we have... Um, negative 20 for our second month. That'll be about here. Notice the temperature's going up. Negative 13 for March. Mm, about, um, you, you can tell me I'm definitely estimating here. And uh, estimating it as to where the, the increment and plot should go. And then January, February, March, April is negative 2. We'll go up here. Almost to 0. And then I believe, what was this one? looks like a 9. So it's 9 degrees for May, right? So we're going up by increments of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So in May, our, our temperature had reached about 9 degrees. And then in June, 15, 5, 10, 15. And then in July, 17, a little bit higher. In August, 14, it's cooling down already. And then September, 7 degrees. And then October, negative 16, back down. January, February, March, April, May. Oh, here's June. I'm sorry. This should have been June right here. July, right there. August, September. So let's move September over. If I can move all these over, because it should definitely line up here. Otherwise, it's already confusing enough, my rough sketch. Sorry. Um, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, and then, sorry, October, November, right, down to negative 16, 
and then December negative 23 all the way down here notice the temperature right it's rising 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 coming back down sorry about this dot that's from before when I was trying to explain that the dots weren't lining up and the idea is you can use this y-axis that goes above and below zero and the zero degrees right there to represent positive and negative numbers and you, they don't ask us to connect the lines but I like to, to see maybe an estimation of the, the change in pattern for temperature alright sorry about this lobby graph but otherwise I hope this helped